Hey, what's up guys? Tim here. Got another tutorial for you today and we're learning how to do a hex nut or beaded sliding knot bracelet. So this is just a slight variation of the sliding knot bracelet or the eternity knot bracelet that I taught you in a uh, much older tutorial. But um, it looks slightly different because we've got our cords fully doubled up and we've embellished it with some nice brass hex nuts. So this one's really easy. I think it's a great addition to um, kind of wear it in combination with another paracord bracelet and can work with your color combos like that or you can wear it alongside a watch as well okay so I think you'll like this one and that being said let's get into the tutorial all right so to start I've got two feet of paracord I'm using the black and red combo and two feet is about enough for my six and a half size uh, inch wrist so um, yeah you'll need a little more if your size is going to be larger I've got two brass hex nuts. These are the, I believe, the 5 16 size hex nut. And they are brass, and I've polished them, so they look really nice. Okay, so we're going to start off on one end of the paracord. We're going to feed our hex nuts through, like that. And then we're going to make a loop, just like this. I'm going to give myself a little more to work with here. Okay, so to tie the first sliding knot, uh, we're going to bend it over once, back through the loop you created, bring it over again, like that, and then bring it up one more time. So I'm going to use hemostats to show you, just so my thumbs don't get in the way. You're going to pass the end of the rope through here. Okay, see where this, underneath this X? You can give yourself a little more rope just to um, make it easier. But I believe I can make it through here. Okay, like that. So you'll know you did it right when you have this X here like that. And pull that tight and pull on the bottom one here and cinch it shut. Okay, then next we're going to just gonna turn it around. And move the hex nuts over there. Then we're gonna bring this piece of cord up here. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Okay. So at this point you can tell that this is gonna be your size. If it's uh, too big or too small, you should adjust it accordingly. And yeah, we're gonna tie the same thing. Go once over through the loop go over again let's see we created that X and then again I'm just going to take my hemostats to show you clearly pass it underneath the X and pull it through that and then tighten okay and that's it so because this is a little different from the original a uh, sliding knot brace that I showed you. We have these two strands. Uh, you want to keep these you know, parallel. Okay, so yeah, now you can snip and singe off the excess because uh, it'll look a lot better, cleaner. So we're going to do that and we'll be done. All right, and there we have it. I'm done. So I snipped and singed the excess paracord. So it looks nice and clean. And this bracelet is ready to be worn. Okay, so there it is, guys. Just another variation of the sliding knot bracelet. I like this one because it's a uh, it's just really simple and uh, yeah it's really nice to wear kind of in combination with uh, other bracelets or watches so it's really nice and also if you've got a nice bead uh, I've got a Schmuckatelli bead here and they make great ways to embellish your sliding knot bracelets as well so you can see I did this one with the uh, I believe this one was the Ona Tiki bead yeah that's really nice. I like wearing this alongside uh, other paracord bracelets. All right, so that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe. That really helped me out. And uh, stay tuned for more paracord tutorial videos. All right, bye.